here is my Lego room. Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another Lego room tour video. I just recently renovated my Lego room and I'm really excited to get to show you this video today. Starting over here at the door against this closet, we just have a bunch of Lego related posters, most all actually, Lego movie posters. On the back of my door here, I have this Hot Wheels car rack, and I actually use that to store all my Lego minifigures that I currently have in my Brickling store. Above my door here, I have this Lego room, or this Lego big block here. This is actually the lid to a creative tower. Here on this side, I have all the small parts in my Brickling store, or small quantity of parts, all in these little baggies on hooks, five hooks a bag, and they're all just right here behind the door. Moving on for that section, we have my, my parts section. Here in this half of the storage container, I have all slopes sorted by color. As you can see, black, black slopes, red, red slopes. Here on the other half of the container, I have circular pieces. That includes plates and bricks and some circle tiles. And here it's all blue, blue, black, black, all categorized by color. Here I have this little setup for all my Lego customizing. Underneath this shelf, I have some white paper and some markers for the videos that have words and stuff in them. Uh, here I have a cutting mat, one painting mat, some labels, these Mega Blocks things that are good to paint on, a container for water, a sponge, a couple sprays such as lacquer, brasso, and another lacquer. Here I have this carousel of testers paints, and these are actually all the paints that I used to paint. I also have paint brushes and some other little tools here. And these drawers I have more tools that I, com I use commonly such as toothpicks, stirrers, these little popsicle sticks I made that stir the paint colors, q-tips, and some actual mega blocks or lego parts. I can't get them over with this hand. Above here I have some paper towel, this brick separator that I completely painted, and in here I just have a bunch more custom supplies such as uh, like cement and extra paint brushes. Down here I have a bunch of these really small containers that are sorted by color, and they are for tiles. As you can see, white tiles, tan tiles, and more. I also have a bunch of bins here. I have one bin for Duplo, I have another bin for curved bricks and stuff like that, and sport pieces. I have windshield pieces, slope part, sl slope plates, salt wedges and stuff. A bunch of random vehicle things that I don't use a lot, and wheels. I have these containers here, they are used for third party pieces, as well as some convention pieces. Moving on to these boxes, I have a box for train tracks, I have a box for Lego Robotics, I have a box for poly bags, and they're just empty poly bags. My, all my Christmas ornaments, so these are some sets here that are disassembled, and all creator sets disassembled. And here at the very bottom of this little storage container, my foot's in the way, I have all the pieces that I bought and used lots recently that I need to sort through and put into my collection. Moving on to my main building desk here, I have a lot more parts. In this storage container, I have all bricks. And again, these are all sorted by color. So I have all my red bricks here in this drawer. All my blue, blip, blue bricks here in this drawer. And then all my brown bricks here in this drawer. Between both containers, I just have a couple base plates. So these are the large, these larger ones are all gray base plates. And these in the box are at 30, 30, 32 by 32 and below. And in this final container here of all my personal parts, I just have all the things that I use more often. So here in this top bin I have plates modified and I actually use some advent calendar trays. Cut them up to size and they work perfectly to sort all the plates that I have. I also have another bricks modified. I'm not going to show you them all. I have flowers and trees, windows, wall elements. Uh, like rocks, fences, and ladders, Technic pieces, Technic uh, bricks, I have a bunch of other stuff down there, I, I can't really see that, it's pretty dark down here, you can just kind of see, I also have a couple of these little boxes sorted for, you know, to divide other things into subcategories, like my animals. Right here I just have a little building desk, this works perfectly if I'm building a mock or a set or anything, and then I just have some posters on the back wall here. Up here, there's even more parts. In this container, it is all plates. So this plate is everything three and above, so four by whatever, like eight by whatever. These plates are only two by plates, and these plates are one by plates. 
up here I have one of every brick separator I have, and then a whole head full of brick separators. Here in these two stock guns are all minifigure parts, and I have minifigure parts sorted quite good. Heads down here, like right here, here I have, oh, I have a bin for torsos, I have a bin for arms, all dishes, hands are up here, all the hairs, I keep everything very organized here. In this husky container, I actually have two of them, and these are all the custom things that I have for sale. Like my custom SWAT team officer minifigures, two custom parts, and I have two of these containers. I don't really use this one, but I bought it because they were on clearance at Home Depot for $5 each. Here on this shelf, I just have a bunch of my favorite sets, or rarer sets, depending on what set it is. And I have a lot of them here with their boxes, just because they look really cool. I have some convention bills, Toys R Us exclusives, some vintage sets, some promotional sets, my brick batch, and then just some Lego idea sets. That are, you know, the exosuit's not hard to find, but that research institute is really hard to find. Up here on this shelf, I just have a bunch of rare or custom minifigures here, such as the Toys R Us collectible collection, to a bunch of convention figures, custom figures. I also have this Lego Golden Sprue, which is a very rare sprue my color chart, and a bunch more. On the far side here, I have all my poly bag collection that is still sealed. There on the right side are all poly bags that I, like, you know, have other ones of, have some built, but I don't want to sell them. And on the right side, there are some poly bags that I still need to build, because I don't have them. Moving up a level here, I have all my Sig Figs and Lego books. Here's just a quick glance at some of the Sig Figs that I have out, and then here are some books and some, like, heads and stuff. These books were too tall for the shelf, so that's why they're laid down. Here are the remainder of my Lego books. I, have some, I also have some Brick Builders Club merchandise. It's a big brick. Down here I have like third-party custom elements, so some of my funky fig cards, some of all the custom Lego elements that I have, like brick arms and stuff like that. These are all containers from Lego customs, you know, me models, boxes, stuff like that. This is all actually LEGO Customs that I just don't have out. You can kind of see play tape that's in there. Here are a bunch of poly bag sets or other sets that I have that just I don't really know what to do for it with. They're kind of uncategorized. Here at the front, pretty much all poly bags. Up here I also have the basement to my NCIS building in my city and my Ellen building. Up here at the very, very top, there's not much interesting. Just a bunch of sets I have, including some city sets, some agent sets, and in the back there are some boxes. Over here is my LEGO City, and if you want to see a full LEGO City tour, check out my channel for some of my more recent city tours. Above my city, I have this huge LED light, and I also have this Emmett blanket from Walmart. I originally used to have this on my bed, but I think it looks so much better in here. Underneath my city here, I have all these boxes for my BrickLink storage, and I actually made a separate video on that, so you can go check that out. Here on the other half is a bunch of parts that I still have to sort for my personal collection. I have this little light under here. These are all like loose pieces, you know, if I tear apart a set, throw the parts under here, if I build something, the extra parts, throw them all under here, I still have to sort those. That's an actual a container like full of minifigure parts that I have to go through. And these are bins, uh, I don't really know how to describe them, I bought these used on Kijiji and I still have to go through them. And under here as well I have all my instruction manuals, so this one is actually layered two up. I'm not gonna, there's like creator instructions and modular building instructions under there. Here's all my city instruction manuals. And in that bin I actually have all plastic baggies. And under there you can't really see are a bunch of other bins. That one's empty. That one's full of some just some bins and stuff I have. Moving on over here to my second desk. Over here at my second desk, this is where I do a lot of BrickLink sales because I try and keep my BrickLink store and personal collection completely separate because there's nothing worse than trying to pack a BrickLink order when there's a bunch of personal pieces around because then are these mine, are they theirs, what should I do? Underneath the table here I have a lot of stuff. This is mostly for my BrickLink store. Here I just have a bunch of boxes and stuff that I actually use to pack orders, the iPad boxes, and under there are just a bunch of empty m and boxes not ready to be used yet. I also have some permanent markers and some pencils. Here in this white Sterlite, I think, container, I have all my set bags. So I reuse all my set bags, so I have them organized by size, small bags, medium bags, if they can get in there, and, re and really large bags. At the bottom here, I have a bunch of shipping supplies, such as bubble mailers, or no, extra, extra bubble mailers to be reused, and stuff like that. 
Down here I have a bunch more boxes. These two are unused at this time, as long as all those are unused. And then I have a bunch of instruction manuals and sets. This is a box of parts that I need to list. And then I have all my sorted, my order overflow, I call them. When I didn't have a bag, I just, when I listed the pieces still, I put them all in. Over here I have all these extra set numbers and set bags. So like, S600, because my chart there only goes up to S685. So I have all the additional 600, 700, 800, 900, and I'm almost to 1,000. I'm at no, a small 999 right now. Here's my computer, which is not on at this time, because last time I left it on for a video, it really backfired, because there was a scene in NCIS that was intimate. Here on the desk, I just have my labeler, a photo frame, and my keyboard. I also have the plug-in for my heat seal. Here at this wall, I have this Lego Hobbit poster that Lego sent me. A shipping chart full of all shipping charges, a bunch of cords, and some lanyards for conventions. Up here, I just have a bunch of stuff here on this shelf here: business cards, my business cards, pencils, uh, permanent markers, some memory cards, computer screen, scissors, cutter, heat sealers, all this kind of stuff that you see when you order. Bubble mailers, and then over here, some other cool sets. I've set up this little train because I only have room for one train in my city, so I added some little tracks so I could at least keep this train on display. And here are all the duplicate LEGO minifigures that I don't have on my main shelf. I also just have some sets over there with that big head because I like that and it's hard to put that because it's so big. This half of the shelf is my LEGO movie shelf. So here I have all the LEGO movie sets that I have that aren't in my city, so like some of the vehicles. And I just think they're really cool. I have all the minifigures, not all of them, but most of the minifigures, the double decker couch, Land, and more. Here on the other half I have a bunch of animal sets, so like Mixels and these friend sets, and I also have some of these like mini builds I guess you call them. Up here is my planes and helicopter shelf. So I really like planes and helicopters, but they just don't fit in my city very well, so with one of these shelves I was really excited to be able to display all my planes. Like I have a lot of planes, so I'll just do a these are all planes and sets, and I just think they're really, really cool. Finally, at the very top, I have all these CMF boxes. I have boxes from 8 till 13 right now, with the exception of 9. I missed out on that one. I have some packages that I got and sent. I have my Brick Loot and Brick Swag boxes here. They're all empty. Those are all the sets that I still have to build, so not very many, actually. That's the biggest one there, this, player, or this Batman set. I got that for free. I have some brick sticks up here and some broken pieces, you know, Lego gets broken, and then all my Lego games, which I never ever touch. Down here beside my second desk, I have a bunch of sets that I need to review. And as I mentioned up here, here is my CMF display. These are displays of all the current Lego minifigures. Right now I have on display, I have series 10 to series 13, with the exception of series minifigures, or the, the Lego movies and the Lego Simpsons minifigures. Here I have the list of every LEGO series minifigure that there are, even with series 1, which I don't have any figures to. And on these lists, I have, like, sort of circled which ones I do have. Over here is my video station. As you can see, I've done a video on this, so you can check that out, but it's sort of still the same. Underneath here, I just have a bunch more sets to review in my camera bag. There's my camera tripod there. Up here, I just have some cool things here. I have this news station for when I do news videos another set to review and then this is my box for when orders have to be shipped I put them in there and then they get shipped above here I have this really cool Lego movie uh, board from Walmart you know they go on their security checkout things and I think that's very cool I'm really really like that and it just it covers up a mirror because I don't need a mirror in here I also have this little recycling box here for when I do videos with involved paper I dropped that one but this it says brick lever 18's ask you never gonna use that again Oh, you can't see that. That's for a surprise video you don't know about yet. Also, down in this corner, I have this, like, Lego poster. Except it's not a poster, it's a picture. And that's eventually going to get up there sometime. I just don't know when yet. Thanks, everybody, for watching my Lego room tour. I really hope you enjoy my room. I really like the recent renovations, and it works really well for me. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of my room tour. Thanks, everybody, for watching this video by BrickLover18. If you want to check out all my other Lego YouTube videos here on my YouTube channel where it is all Lego all the time, go check it out. Thanks everybody for watching, don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends, and of course subscribe.
Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.